Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Road to Ranked Roulette series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and today we're going to be finishing up the week and the series with this team that you can see in front of you today. We are in our Road to Ranked Roulette series. These are Pokemon nominated by yourselves that have been selected from our random roulette wheel. And what we take onto the ladder and sadly today is going to be the last episode in this series for this season. So we will come back to this series, I promise you that. We will do this every single year, it's been so much fun. I just need to give each and every one of you a huge shout out before we go into the battles today and uh, just say thank you for all the nominations all of the comments all the support that we've had throughout the series and i really hope you have enjoyed the uh, the roulette shenanigans as we've we've been doing them over the last few weeks it's been extremely fun on my end been a lot of hard work with all the animations and learning all that side of things and trying to fit it all in and do all that but it's been really worth it and i just hope you guys have enjoyed it we've seen some really cool things as well throughout this series it's a pokemon that we would have probably never seen before if we just stuck to serious competitive Pokemon and this way we've been able to really explore a lot of different options and have some success as well along the way so um, I just hope you're looking forward to next season and obviously next year it'll be on the switch it'll be on sword and shield so that'll make it even more extra exciting so excellent stuff what else am I going to say? I've got to say that I will be going on holiday. Come Monday, I'm going away to Greece for a week with uh, Thea, Tash and the family. So that'll be really nice. So it means next week on the channel, there'll be no content at all, unfortunately. And I get back the following Monday. So by then, we definitely uncategorically know the, the rule set for next season. So I will start and put videos up. Uh, we'll be back with our daily battle series, School of Hard Knocks, uh, kicking off on probably the Tuesday there. And we'll do a stream that week as well. And we'll get back into full force with things uh, when I get back from holiday. But just to let you know that I'm going to have a break next week. Normally, what I try and do is do a lot of pre-recorded content and put it up so we don't have a drop week. But I'm actually... For once, going to take some time off um, and just really have some downtime, take some time to just relax and rest up and things like that, and then come back all refreshed, raring to go for the new season. So um, I'm going to miss doing it, as, as I always do whenever we take a little bit of a break, but I am already looking forward to getting back into serious Pokemon content. Of course, we know the uh, World Championships will be in London next year, and I'm so pumped to get into the, uh, the new season and uh, have a good start to it as well. So... With that said, we've got our team. It is down in the description below. There is a roll paste, a poker paste. Uh, check it out, try it out if you'd like to. It's a really cool team and it's been doing a lot of work and I feel like we can get two wins today. We are sitting on four wins, five losses. We need to finish positive. I feel like we can do it, so let's do it um, and get into it today. The music's on. Let's get into our proper screen as well so we can have a look at our rating. I think we're above 1500, which is good. Um, yeah, we're doing not too bad actually, are we? Uh, 1543, which is excellent, excellent news. And as always, if you do enjoy this sort of content, please remember to drop a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content and leave your comments down below because I love hearing from you all. And uh, if you'd like to keep up and uh, follow along with my holiday when I'm uh, when I'm on out there in Greece, uh, you can follow me on Instagram, it's us at Osiris Studios, or on Twitter as well, at uh, Osiris VGC. Yes, both are down in the description below and I'll be posting lots of lovely pictures when I'm away on holiday and probably posting some videos as well while I'm over there so it'll be nice to keep in touch while I'm over there but we've got Marco as our first opponent and I say come on so let's get into team preview and check out what we're going to do Okay, Marco, our first opponent today, running a team of Xerneas, Como, or Groudon, Murkrow, Tapu Fini, and Kangaskhan. So we've got the restricted combination of Xerneas, Groudon, very strong restricted combination, complements each other very well. And then the options supporting it are that Murkrow has got access to Tailwind, Taunt, lots of support options, Quash as well. And then the Como is probably going to be holding the Z move for that uh, Comanian Z uh, spread damage boosting ability. So a very boost based team. And you've got the Tapu Fini there for the terrain support to help against status conditions and speed control as well alongside that Murkrow that we've already said has Tailwind and the Kangaskhan with it. Gonna be the mega of the team with fake out support so I think Lander is gonna be really important for us here. Do we want to go with Sableye? Uh, Weezing I think I definitely want to bring. Um, Ho-Oh is actually really good here. I'm gonna bring Ho-Oh, Weezing, Kyogre. Uh, yeah I'm pretty happy with that so let's get straight into it. Right, 
I'm looking forward to this one. I love that we were using Weezing as well. Um, it's, I've just realised as well, we had Lanoon at the start of the week, which has got a Galar form, and now we've got Weezing, which is one of the other Pokemon that's got a Galar form. So it's like, it's a Galar version of a roulette, <laughs> roulette series. Uh, sadly, I doubt we'll have access to Kyogre and Ho-Oh -Oh in the Galar decks. But I will not talk about that, because I know for some people it's a touchy subject, isn't it? Um, we're going to see Kangaskhan and Murkrow come out for my opponent, and uh, we'll get that decent, you know, the all-important Intimidate onto the, the Kangaskhan there. We could just Rock Slide um, here. It might be... The only reason I'm saying Rock Slide is because we can just start damaging that Murkrow. I'd imagine we'll see a Fake Out into the Ho-Oh, -Oh, to be honest, um, and I'm going to go for the Tailwind. We could go Z Tailwind as well. Um, my opponent's not really got any option to... Yeah... Because one of the things we could see is the Mekro go for... Mekro gets taunt, right? I'm pretty sure it does get taunt. Pretty sure. Let's go just Tailwind to start us off and go for a Rock Slide. Um, I'd imagine the Kangaskhan will fake out the whole all though. I really want to get this for sure working as well on Landorus. You know, we've had it on like all week and we haven't utilized it. So there's a fake out. Ooh, it's into Landorus. Okay. Oh, we could have went for the Z-Tailwind. That would have been the play. That would have been so, so the play there, wouldn't it? Um, okay. Well, we do get faked out, so it does mean that we're going to be able to just change moves. So I'm kind of tempted to go for that for sure here into the Kangaskhan. I really am. Should we do it? No. <laughs> Should we do it? I just don't know if we should or not. I think we'd probably be better off going for a U-turn into the Kangaskhan. Actually, a U-turn. No. Let's, or do we just rock slide again? Let's rock slide again. Let's go for the Z tailwind. Because my opponent does presume that we can't tailwind here. But we got the Z move, so it does get around that pretty nicely. Um, tailwind from Murkrow, so we'll keep pace there. Um, it's probably better keeping pace with... Oh, come on. Come on, Landorus. Why are you... Oh, okay, so we missed the Murkrow. The one thing that we really wanted to hit. It's a bite gone into Landorus, um, trying for that flinch, I guess, and uh, we will get this Z tailwind off. Um, yeah, it's probably better going for it now, because we didn't want to be in a position where we went for it last turn, and then my opponent goes for their tailwind this turn, and then it comes down to it, when ours runs out, they're still in tailwind, at least this way, we're keeping pace the whole way, um, so that's fine. Uh, we'll go for the rock slide again, and uh, we'll go for a brave bird into the Murkrow. We could go for Sacred Fire into the Kangaskhan as well, but... I'm not really... Oh, come on. How is this Rock Slide? It's just not hitting. Can we flinch the Kangaskhan? Well, we do. Okay. Uh, this Murkrow would have been gone by now, though. 100%. This would have been the, the killer blow. But... Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was like, Landorus, you're useless. You're useless, Landorus. I'll deal with this Murkrow. Don't worry about it. So, <laughs> we get the uh, Brave Bird crit there, which is pretty fortunate for us. We get rid of the, the Murkrow, which is nice. Uh, Groudon going to hit the field now. Um, which, again, is kind of alright for us, really, because we can bring in... We could pull a double switch if we wanted. I'm kind of just tempted just to go for the Sacred Fire into Kangaskhan, which should pick up the knockout now. And we could just Rock Slide again. It's pretty boring, but I mean, it's pretty safe doing it. The only only worry would be if this Groudon has Rock Slide. Um, but a Sacred Fire should get the Kangaskhan. What's wrong with Landorus? It's got like, I'm sure it's just got, it's got one eye that just isn't working. There's a double edge. Where are you going? Into Ho-Ho. Yeah, we take that. We take that. Come on, can we get the Sacred Fire before the crowd on Earth Power? Huh. Expecting a switch, maybe. Uh, so we get rid of the Kangaskhan. Now it's going to be pretty easy for us to lock up because we've got... We've got Kyogre and we've got Weezing in the back. And you know the one thing that I want to do is get is allow Weezing to... Um, I want Weezing to uh, to get the knockout onto uh, this Groudon with Hidden Power Water. <laughs> so sadistical, I swear. Um, but the Xenia's coming in now. Uh, we'll go for another Rock Slide. And 
Yeah, we'll go for a Sacred Fire once again into the Xerneas. I mean, we could recover here with, with Hortal, but I'm not really too worried about... Oh my god, this Landorus is the worst Landorus ever. This is like, it doesn't put much confidence in me clicking this for sure button. Uh, we are going to see the Geomancy come out from the Xerneas, but not to worry, because I'm just going to stay on the field with these two until both of those, these Pokemon hopefully are taken down at the same time. And then we get Kyogre and Weezing onto the field. Weezing cannot be touched by this Groudon as long as the rain's up and we can get a, a pretty free clear smog into that Xerneas. And the Groudon does flinch though, so the, at least the Landorus it is hitting, it is flinching things. We get the burn? No burn. Tailwind's pitter out, but that's fine. Um, and yeah, we'll probably lose both Pokemon here, to be honest. We could try for a Tailwind, I guess. It might be nice to try and do that if we can if we can get a tailwind up. That would be good. Oh, that's why we got the critical hit against Murkrow. It's not even that haxy because we used the Z tailwind, so that's that that makes sense. Um, okay, we do lose Landorus. Whether or not we'll lose Hot or here, this Groudon hasn't really. Oh dear. <laughs> Stike up Groudon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> okay. Um, dang. Let's bring in Weezing. I think we might have to switch to... Uh, I don't really want to switch to Kyogre, to be honest. Um, but it would be a way for us to just go clear smog into Xerneas, uh, switching Kyogre. Now, it's just because I feel like the Groudon's probably got Eruption. I think it's got Eruption and Earth Power. And I think you have to click the Fire type move now. And Kyogre should take a Moonblast. Although we'll probably see it doesn't gleam over anything else. That'll be my best guess. Psycho Groudon. <laughs> Psycho Groudon. <laughs> crazy, crazy man. Um, right, so there's the Dazzle, yeah. Kyogre will take this pretty comfortably. Oh, is that a crit? Yep. Yeah. Not so comfortable. Eruption, yeah, it doesn't work. Uh, and there's a clear smog. Right. And now an Origin Pulse should be able to pick up the knockout onto uh, onto both targets. It depends, though. It depends how... Um, we'll go for the clear smog into Groudon first, because then we still have a turn of Tailwind left. I'm just going to protect Kyogre. Because I don't want the Groudon outspeeding us still after the Psychic boost. Um, which it probably will, in all honesty. If we can get this clear smog onto the Groudon. We just need a little bit more damage onto Weezing. So if we can see a Dazzling Gleam here, that would be ideal. And then Weezing, like I say, can be the Pokemon to take down this Groudon. Which would be ideal. Fine margins here, though. Uh, Xenia's protecting. Okay. Groudon, no protect. Come on. Yeah, there's the Earth Park into Kyogre, yeah. Here's a clear smog. And we'll get rid of those stat boosts. Right, okay, we're good. Um Should have got Ice Beam into the Xerneas. Well an Ice Beam get the Xerneas, an Ice Beam will get the Xerneas, and a hidden power will get the Groudon. So let's go for Ice Beam Xerneas. Hidden power water the Groudon and uh, let this wheezing. Oh, come on. <laughs> you could have let us do it. <laughs> okay, well, we pick up a win. Very good game to my opponent. Uh, we are 5-5 five and five now. So it means with one, one more win in this next one, it means we finish positive. And it, it, that's a pretty good week for us, I will say. A pretty good week, all in all. Um, and the last... Well, today and yesterday has been really good. So we're getting to grips with the team. I did say at the end of the day on Wednesday, I was like, you know, we've we've made a lot of changes, so we just need to adapt to these changes, get into the flow of things with the team, and hopefully the results will follow. So you know, my friends, you know me. This is our last game with this team in this series. This is our last game of the series. I'm pretty sad about it, to be honest. We're going to go with Ultra Necrozma version 2. Necrozma version 2. 15-60 uh, is not bad for us to finish on. And if we get a win here, it means that we finish above that, which is pretty good. So we've got Ramon, or Ramon, 
1479 rated opponent with a great team. Look at this. Come on. So, uh, oh, I'm getting all sentimental. We're getting into team preview for the last time in this series. Oh. So sad, but we've got Haunter, we've got Kyogre, Landorus Theory, and Mowile, uh, Superior, and the Tapu Koko. So, um, I will say Landorus is pretty good here. We've got to be careful against this Kyogre, of course, but the Scarf does help us out a lot against Tapu Koko. I think Hot is nice as well here, just for the Tailwind support um, in general. We've got to be careful against the Koko, but we do have that protection from the Landorus, of course, there. Uh, the Kyogre does cause these two quite a lot of problems. So I think we'll probably lean towards Kyogre and then, hmm, Rotom. Yeah, Rotom's not bad here, to be honest. Just the Superior does give us a few issues. But outside of that, we're kind of fine. I'm gonna lock in with these four. We'll get into this last one. I am really sad about this. I'm, I have had the most fun ever with this series. It's been really good. I'm just so happy that you guys have been enjoying it and you, you enjoyed it enough for me to say I, I will continue it because if I'd done it and then everyone would be like, it's such a dumb idea, why are we doing this? Then it would have probably come to nothing. So really it's it's all thanks to you guys for, for enjoying this series and uh, making it so enjoyable for myself and successful I think as well it's been really great so I'm already looking forward to bringing it back in in Sword and Shield next year um, but I'm a little bit sad it's like saying goodbye to a relative when they've uh, been to visit <laughs> you know you'll see them again but you just don't want them to go at the same time they get a little bit, a bit emotional but here we go let's get into this last one let's make it count okay so we're gonna see Landorus and Kyle come out from my opponent my opponent's got Scarf Landorus as well, so that's a good indicator for us. Um, oh. <laughs> I'm already thinking about it. I'm like, should we for sure? The Kyogre. <laughs> it could go so wrong. It could go so wrong for us, though. Should we play it safely? Or should we play loosely? What do we want? Do we want the victory more? That's the thing. I mean, we've got to be ballsy with stuff. Uh, we haven't used it for sure all week. And we could we could really do it now. We could do it. Um, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the for sure. We're going to go for it into the Kyogre. And uh, we will try and get a Tailwind off. If we can get a Tailwind off, I think we can pretty much sweep through this team. There's a U-turn. Okay. <laughs> Everyone, keep everything crossed the, the, for this for sure. Please hit. Please. If we can get this, this would be the most incredible, incredible turn of the whole series. We've had some pretty incredible turns so far. And the more while coming in. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. I feel like it's going to hit. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> come on, Landorus. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Is real, yes. What a way to end this series. <laughs> oh, we get the Kyogre. Come on. <laughs> and the Tailwind up. We're sitting in such a good position right now. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe we actually got the Fissure there. Should we just try the Fissure run into the Mawile? We can go Sacred Fire into the Landorus. Hopefully get a burn there. I can't believe that. <sighs> Need to calm down a little bit. Okay, so let's go for the Fisher again into the Mawile. See if we can get like a turkey with Mawile. Uh, uh, imagine if we get three Chaos. We can't get the Landorus because it's floating. Unless we see gravity, maybe. <laughs> but we get it. We get it. Okay, this is... This <laughs> Whatever happens now, I'm just... just uh, This is just the hype. Okay, Mawile gonna Mega Evolve. I'm gonna see it come out. And uh, hit the field. Obviously, a bit of a threat with that huge power, but if for sure hits again, then we're all good. Sucker Punch coming out into Landorus. Do some decent damage there. Oh, the voids. Okay. We can't have everything, I guess. We got the Sacred Fighter. We get the burn. No burn. Rock Slide. Ah. Oh, we, we survive. We survive. Okay. Um, How many turns of Tailwind have we got left? Two. Okay. This isn't too bad. Uh, we'll go for a... 
I mean, we could potentially uh, keep Landorus for later because I suspect a Sucker Punch coming out. Let's bring in Rotom and let's try and get a Sacred Fire into the Mawile. Because if we can burn the Mawile, that'll be really useful for us. And we'll keep this Landorus for when this mawile has gone so we can try and get another for sure going. I'd imagine we'll lose Hot or this turn. There's a Sucker Punch. Oh, they picked the right target. We could have went for that for sure once more. It's a little bit of a shame, but it's fine. It's fine. It's uh, Honestly, it's alright. Uh, Rock Slide doing more damage than I would have really liked it to have done. We'll get Kyogre in. Um, and I think it's probably good to go Water Spout switch into Landorus here with our Rotom so we can at least get an Intimidate onto the Mawile because I expected to go Sucker Punch here because we can totally pick up the Knockout onto Landorus. Um, so yeah, let's bring in Landorus. We get the Intimidate onto the Mawile and we'll go Water Spout. And I think even after a Sucker Punch, like Water Spout will be enough to get the Landorus, whatever damage we take, unless it's like a crit and then... Then we're in trouble, but it should be all right. Like I say, whatever happens here, it's fine. We got the for sure off turn one. I'm happy with that, but we do want to win, obviously. Come on, Rotom, get back in your ball. Landorus, get your Intimidate gone. Uh, Moal has to go Sucker Punch here, or it, or it protects. That's one of the other things it can do. Sucker Punch, fails. Okay, went for the wrong target there, 100%, because now we just clear the field, and yeah. Okay, um, my opponent down to the last Pokemon. Can we get the Fissure KO? Please, come on. We need to end with a Fissure. I don't know what it was about that turn one. I just had so much belief that it was going to hit, that it did hit. Oh, <laughs> we're not going for Fissure here. We're definitely not. <laughs> I'm going Earthquake and I'm switching into Rotom. Um, it could be Sash Coco, which would make things a little bit more difficult, but... Uh, we need to guarantee this. And I want to finish positive as well. I know I'm letting you guys down, but we'll go for the Earthquake. Lander is going to steal the show. We'll bring in Rotom. And um, there's the Earthquake, which should be enough to get the core call. Good job that we kept this Lander as around until the late game as well. So there it is. Unless it's sashed. Nah, no sash. We take it and we give the team the best send off possible. We finish up this week positive, which is a rarity. We very rarely finish positive in a week. We finish with six wins, five losses. Give the team a great send off. We get that for sure turn one, which is the most incredible turn to end a series. Perfect way for us to do it. And you know what? I was really sad going into that match. And this has just perked me up and just... Made everything alright, but now I'm sad again because it is time to say goodbye to this series for a year at least because we will come back to it. I promise you we will come back to it this time next year and it will be on Sword and Shield, but we're going to do it as a, a yearly thing in between the end close of the season and the start of another season because it's a lot of fun. And once again, I'm just going to say thank you so much to each and every one of you. Uh, I am, as I say, going away on holiday on Monday and uh, I'll be away for a week. And then we'll come back and we'll be right back in with the School of Hard Knocks. We'll maybe do some guides and things. We'll probably do a metagame analysis guide uh, to look at the metagame post-Worlds, what we've seen do well so far this season, and what to expect for the rest of the season. If you'd find something like that useful and helpful, do let me know in the comment section, and uh, I'll make sure to get that happening. And uh, we'll do a recap of the 2020 season, the CP rules and everything, what to expect going into this year for the, the newer players coming into the tournament. And just to refresh us all their bodies as well so have a great weekend and next week my friends i will miss you all and uh, i'll see you when i get back thank you so much for tuning in and uh, until next time take care and bye, -bye.